December of 1985, we were called out to 50th and Washington Street. Hispanic male between the ages of 18 and 25. A homicide victim out in a field where people discarded trash. They found him here in Polk County, Florida. The victim was probably 20 to 30 years of age. In the back of a grocery store, behind, like, behind a refrigerator. We never identified this lady. So here in Florida, we have over 900 unidentified individuals. They range from newborn babies to very elderly people. We have artists from around the country and around the world that are here for one week to take uh, 14 skulls and uh, put together a phase, a clay reconstruction for them. So we use a desktop laser scanner which creates a 3D model of the skull. And from that, we're able to print it in 3D, and then they have a cast to work with. So the clay is actually put on top of this cast model, and that's how the facial reconstruction is made. The white parts we had, and then there's also you can't see because it was supposed to be color, but then this part of her mouth. What they used to do is work off of the actual skull, real evidence. If it's something gets broken, you can't fix it. So I can work off of the 3D print and I can have the skull as a reference. Did the person ever have a broken nose? Did they have an overbite? All these little things help direct how the face looked. And so all of that sort of ultimately translates then into the, the reconstruction that the artist makes. If you look at Florida, which on average has a thousand um, you know, murders every year and a 62% solvability rate, we're not solving cold cases at a 40% rate. I think that the clock issue is working against us on these older cases because if somebody was, let's say, middle-aged in 1970, then you have to think about their parents and the people who knew them and how old are they today.